A very good morning to you, South Africa. It's a beautiful Friday morning. Thank you so much for choosing to start off your weekend with us right here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Yeah. As many of you know, Raul and myself, our products are Presenter Search <laughs> on sure 3. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, we're going to be chatting to two now, the prodigies of Presenter Search. And uh, one of them doesn't have an ounce of body fat whatsoever. Nothing. I'm sure Jamie's not going to be upset with this one. Let's check out what's <laughs> happening in McAfee. <laughs> Thank you, Gusha and Raul. And guys, you're back with me, Dr. Fez, on your Feel Good Breakfast show. It's going to be an amazing one. Um, I'm going to be taking you guys through some of my diet this Excuse morning. Excuse me. Uh, sorry, this is my show. You had your time to shine. Uh, guys, we are still hanging out live <laughs> with uh, Dr. Fez and Kiva here at McDonald's. Listen. I thought maybe I could show you some of the ropes. I mean, since... I have been doing this for since quite some time. Since you have been the winner. I, you know, so since I was the first winner, let me show you what winners eat, you know? It has to be my cafe. It has to be the good food. So what do you want to order? It'll be on me. Oh, today. okay. Oh, Not every day the doctor actually spoils me. I would actually do a donut. I feel like I oh. want to do a treat. Why are you doing it? It's cheat Fridays, guys. It is cheat uh, Fridays. So we're going to get a donut, Oreo donut. I think I'm going to get a blueberry muffin. That's looking good. Uh, the first bit of carbs I've had in like 10 years. Oh, <laughs> whatever. Whatever. <laughs> but I mean, how are you? How have you been? <sighs> it's, uh, it's been really trying i think that's kind of the best word and because i get to see it firsthand you see how the shift speed especially within the country but the biggest thing for me has been the positivity through it all because there there was that assumption that there was going to be deaths and people going to be sick but how we've all mobilized and come together we really really were able to kind of bring down that curve so for me that was always the big bonus and yeah everybody's very supportive i actually feel like this is the most popular i've ever been especially like with the doctors people People clapped. I walked into a grocery store once in my scrubs and they were just like, like, like just three people started to clap and I was like, I kind of held, held my two minute noodles like, okay. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, it's been, it's been great. It's been great. No, it's been good to just connect with you. I mean, we always connect with you via Skype, just giving us all your medical advice. But you've also been encouraging people just to take care of their mental health and their physical health as well. Why do you think it was so important for you to advocate that? I think for me... It's, it's important now because of the fact that we all need human contact. Um, and short of me getting my dose of coffee every morning to kind of get me up and going, I did feel like everybody needs to know that you need to interact in some way or form. We've got Zoom calls now, oddly enough, Skyping, which uh, for some reason has kind of fallen off a bit. But we have all of those modalities to engage with people. And for me, with people coming in every day, that's the one thing they miss. And that's the one thing that kind of determines whether they'll be able to battle through whatever illness or disease that they have, mm. is that they still feel like people are rooting for them, family members are backing them, even if they're sitting in a room isolated for two weeks. So it's, it's, it's vital to yeah. get through all of this. Yeah. Talking about vital and health, uh, we're not going to talk about the men's health cover oh. of the July, everybody. Ah. Just putting it out there, I coming mean, through. Like I mean, the just what the doctor <laughs> ordered. <laughs> it's, it's so interesting because Rob, who's the editor, mm -hmm. um, kind of calls me up and is talking about the fact that we're going through all of this and it's all the way back in July and people are feeling very stressed out and they're thinking, can you still work out during lockdown? Like, are you able to still be physically fit? And I'm somebody who always tries to stay moderately fit through the year and I thought that would be the, the greatest time for me to actually also be on my second cover and to show people that even with Wait, all the just work... just say that louder for everyone, uh, the second cover, not I mean, even just one, it's, not uno. The second, second. cover, uh, the third overall men's health cover because I did the style cover last year, but I think... For me, that was just a big statement, especially for men's health, because it wasn't just me, it was a bunch of other guys in other industries who were just saying, listen guys, it's hard, it's tough, but we're still out there, we're still putting in the work. Whatever you can do is important, and even if you might not look as ripped or as big or as buff, mm. just keep doing some sort of physical exercise, and you'll make it through this. Yeah. So yeah, it was, uh, it was a great cover. I can imagine. It was a really great cover. Thank you. You've been using your voice just to highlight so many good platforms, mm. also one of them being the SOS Children Village, yeah. which is right. Yeah. Movement actually yeah. take us through yeah. why that was so important yeah. for you. <sighs> It's, you know, in our industry, there's, there's a measure of light that you get to have. And, and with that light, you kind of decide how you want to use it. Um, and I feel we 
benefit from it so much because people recognize you, they take photos, maybe you get a discount or two because somebody's seen you somewhere. But I think the most important thing is to highlight the stuff that people might not want to see or might have never had a chance to see. And for me, SOS is just so important. Um, the World Health Organization always highlights how children are a marker of how uh, a country is running and how things are going with that particular country. And especially during lockdown, with over 758 children which are in these villages, eight of them across the country, they really needed to be highlighted and they really needed people to know that they're still there, still trying to kind of go through the daily works without necessarily having a, like a continuous income coming through. So I'd already been working with them before all of this and I thought it was even more important to start posting on social media, to have a give and gain page, which I'm hoping everybody will go on to. It's on my uh, Instagram as well as Facebook, uh, to just go and, and get some sort of funding going for them. And yeah, they're great children, um, absolutely amazing to, to be around. So I'm hoping everybody can give what they can give. Listen, thank you so much for hanging out with us this morning and for the coffee and my no, muffin. Of course. But you know, we can't have the doctor out here without showing the people what they want. Give them what they want. Show them why you fry? were the... No? The, no, listen, it's a Friday. It's a Friday. We can't end the Friday without showing what the good doctor is, is all about. purely because I'm hoping if I do this, you go to my Instagram and you maybe see a bit more of this and then you can see what SOS is doing. So it's been a rough call. So I'm sorry if I've uh, any bit of weight, but Ryle, I'm trying. I've been doing the exercises you've been doing in the morning. Oh, I just uh, want to say is, everybody, I get paid to do this, and I'm thank you very much. It's been a blessed day today. Back to you guys in studio. Okay, coffee. Okay, coffee. What's better than a sugar-coated, deliciously crispy golden brown donut and 100% Arabica beans brewed to perfection? Treat yourself and warm up your morning with a little sweetness from Mac Cafe with the all-new mini donut and cappuccino offer. A little lovin' doesn't have to cost a lot. Great coffee, simple.